What is cracking, my gamesters? It is the total reason, and yes, I'm back in your face with another Let's Play Hotline Miami. This is episode number five of this epically gamester, epically gangster, epically violent series. Holy shit, I have no idea what's really going on, what's really coming, what's really gonna happen. All I know is that I am one sadistic motherfucking murderer. I've been getting these hit contracts, and I've been going and completing them like a boss. We unlock our crazy masks that give us killing perks, like dogs don't attack and faster executions. Uh, but we really don't know any other significance to these ma masks. Uh, yeah, uh, we know that there is uh, the video store slash food store dude that uh, sounds a lot like Tommy Chong, and he, uh, he seems to know more about our life where we're going, where we're coming from, what we're doing, what we like to eat, what we like to watch, more than we even know what we like to do, eat, watch. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, picking up right where we left off. we uh killing people. We, we got that woman that was either being eaten or raped. Not too sure what was going on there yet. We haven't found out exactly what her issue is yet. Uh, yeah, we're about to go in and talk to the uh, three masks men that seem to kn know what I'm doing. They seem to be in charge of what I'm doing. We don't know why yet. Maybe they can uh, explain what's going on to us a little better. So please sit back, please relax, and please enjoy episode number five, Hotline Miami, with your gangster friend and gangster friend, Total Reason. Oh, it's you again. It looks like you've been busy since we last met. <laughs> Oh, I see that you remember me now, don't you? But you still don't know who I am. You don't even know who introduced us, do you? Why did you come back here? You're not a nice person, are you? You make me sick. Your picture is starting to take form here. I wonder if it's accurate. Some pieces don't quite seem to fit. Or maybe I just don't like the way it looks. I think our time is up, but we'll meet again. Before you go, here's four questions to ponder. Question number one. Do you like hurting other people? Question number two. Who is leaving messages on your answering machine? Question number three. Where are you right now? And the final question. Why are we having this conversation? That's all for now. See you soon. All right, here we are. This is where we select what mask we want to use to pick what perk we want. Now, I can get creative and try a new one and see if it helps me at all, but I'm a creature of habit, stuck in my way, so we're gonna Tony Faster Executions. I really don't see one that's better. I mean, look at that. I take the dog out right away because of the fast execution. No need to sit and slam people's heads. You pretty much run up and just jack them like that. So, uh, yeah, alright, we got one in the purple bathroom here. Let's blast him. We've done all of this with not a single weapon yet. As you can see, Tony the Tiger's mask is just unstoppable in most situations. No, 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 no! Wrong button. Threw in the gun instead of shooting the gun. That was pretty fucking dumb, wasn't it? <laughs> all right, let's see. These two goobers here? Yeah, I guess that's not a guess. That's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another not a good idea. Uh, Alright, quickly, quickly now. See, that's where the Tony the Tiger fast executions really shine. I mean, we had two guys in a room. I got no weapon. Bang, bang, they're done. No squatting and punching. Just straight up execution with your bare hands. It, there really isn't a better perk than that. I mean, I, I guess if you have a hard time avoiding people getting shot. I guess maybe the elephant mask that allows you to take a single bullet before dying might be that strategic edge you need. And, and in fact, I can probably see that mask coming in handy in the later levels that we haven't gotten to yet. This game has progressively gotten harder and harder with, with every level, as it should. But, uh, yeah, I really haven't found a need to use anything other than the fast execution so far. I mean, uh, you get more points for being quiet, so I, all it really does is it, it makes you stronger, it, you kill quicker, and your points are better. Your, your final grade is better. I, I would highly recommend it to anyone trying to get high scores. Um, 
so yeah, we're going to struggle a little bit on this first little opening area. Uh, I don't like to cut out a lot of my mistakes. I like you guys to see what I'm doing wrong. Maybe you guys can learn when you go to ha go ahead to play this game on your own. Maybe you can see kind of what, what I do wrong, not always just what these guys do right. Uh, I feel that that's the best way to learn in life is to make mistakes, learn from your mistakes, and move on. So, yeah, let's make some fucking mistakes, shall we? Alright, six out of six rounds. It's another very important item with this game is to always watch your ammo count. I, there's so many times when I first started here where you run out of a bullet, you run into a room thinking you still got bullets, quickly clack and whack. They fuck you in the bum with another bum. Well, however the hell that works. But still, it, it sounds as bad as it really sounds. Or whatever. Shut up. All of you shut up. Okay, let's see. We got a guy here, a couple guys in the hallway. Take out him, get his friends running, take them out. 14 out of 24 rounds. Yeah, I only see one more, so we can take him out safely. And that will clear this little stage of episode 5. So now we can go upstairs. Before we do that, though, let's get some more ammo. 11 out of 24. That is good. But mind you, once you go upstairs, you're going to be locked upstairs until you clear it. You can't come back down and grab more guns until after you clear the upstairs. So you want to make sure, wherever you're headed with the little go arrow, that you're fully ready to go, because there ain't no going back once you're up here. See, so now we got 24 out of 24. Even if we die, we're going to start back here with 24 out of 24. So that's my reasoning for that. Uh, obviously, noise is your enemy in this game. They hear you shooting, they all come a-running. But that noise can also be used uh, for an ambush. I mean, you make a noise and have them come running, set yourself up around a corner and just tap, 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 just double tap these motherfuckers till they're all gone. All right, reloaded. We got 22 out of 24 rounds. We got the guy in the green room here. We got uh, two behind a bunker. We got one on the white polar bear rug here like one or two in the pool room so oh we just stained the white rug all right what well, we got one in here ah all right now let me tell you this part had me stumped i had to tap out i'm not even gonna lie i had to tap out and figure out what the fuck's going on here if you walk up to either one of these doors and touch them and open them boom it'll blow up and kill you so basically you have to grab the shotgun and shoot the door it's the only way make sure you're far enough away now this room is another thing. See how I just missed the guy twice behind that bunker? Yeah, his little friend is there trying to kill you. The best way to enter this room is to kill the guy farthest away first. So, come in, tap him gone. Now his friend is basically at your mercy. Boom. Chapter clear. What is up, my gangsters? Like a fucking savage! Alright. So... Also remember that sometimes you do get ambushed on your way back to the car, and just when you think it's done, it's not. So, uh, just in case, always make sure you got got some ammo, or at least that you're ready for a potential ambush on your way back to the car. I'll tell you, sometimes you run into a boss. Obviously, we had to kill, and go I gouged that black eye when we got the blonde girl. It, it just You never know what's going to happen in this game. So, let's head on back to the car here keep our fingers crossed that we're not going to get ambushed. Alright, that worked. To the Batmobile! Alright, so here we are, seeing our friend that knows more about our life than we do. I wonder what the fuck creepy shit he's going to do this time. Oh, hi there! Good to see you! I was a bit worried about you. The city streets don't seem so safe anymore, you know? <laughs> what with all the killings and all that I mean. And don't worry about paying, you're my friend. Your money's no good here. Now have a nice night. Yeah, nice night. Yeah. I still want to know if you're in on it. I want to know if you're one of the masked men. Ah, uh, man, there's only one way to find out. Keep going. To the Batmobile! Now you're ruining it. Get out of the way. 